Well, they work together on home improvement. However, all these years later, Pamela Anderson has now come out with some explosive new allegations against Tim Allen. What were they? We're going to get into all the details about it in just a second. First, guys, if you could, if YT lets you, try and hit the like button for me. Very important. Also, please share the video. Help us get around those algorithms. Hit the bell. Subscribe. I wear the glasses because I'm blind. And I remind you guys a couple different ways you could help donate to my ministry. One, you can click the super thanks down below. You can select a donation amount from there and attach a comment to it. It makes it all nice and colorful. Or you can help out over on Patreon with my goal for the month of January, trying to get five new patrons to sign up and bless our ministry for five bucks a month. Again, patreon.com slash conservative truth. We have four so far. We're only one more away from the goal, guys. And being that we did not hit the goal for December, we're really hoping here in the final stretch we can make this happen for January. Uh, there, guys, you'll get uh, access to all my content. You don't have to worry about the YT alerts. If that's the only way you watch these videos, I mean, forget it. They're not going to send them all to you. Uh, sign up to Patreon so you can be alerted for everything. And also leave your comments on these videos over there completely censorship-free. No worry about YT blocking or removing what you guys are saying. You can even send me direct messages too. So check it out, patreon.com slash conservative truth. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So what is this all about? We're going back to Home Prune. We're going back to the 90s. Okay, one of the best shows you know, during this time. Pamela Anderson, if you remember, uh, she appeared in about 23 episodes here of the show. You know, she was the, uh, you know, the, the tool time assistant to Tim and uh, to Tim and Al Borland on the show. Well, Pamela Anderson, she, she is, a, and this, is, this can't be a coincidence, right? I mean, I don't know, I'm just saying. She has a new memoir that's coming out at the end of January. And Pamela details exclusively here. Now, she says this happened on the very first day of filming the show, okay? She's in her dressing room, okay? This is like you know, this is like one of her first credits, right? Before she even got into Baywatch or anything else like that. She's 23 years old at the time, and Tim Allen was 37. So as she's here in the dressing room, okay, she's getting ready to come out, and there's Tim Allen. But it wasn't just Tim Allen. He was wearing a robe and Pamela Anderson says that it was at that point that uh, well Tim Allen had opened up his robe to reveal the entire enchilada if you know what I mean showing that to Pamela Anderson and she said that when he did this Tim Allen said that well it was only fair because you see Tim Allen had seen all of Pamela Anderson when she posed for Playboy, so he felt that it was only fair that she get to see him too. And Pamela Anderson said that she she kind of, you know, chuckled a little bit, she was a little bit embarrassed, and then they went on from there. Now she's admitting now that this made her feel uncomfortable and that it was wrong and that Tim Allen never should have done it. And the reason that she didn't say anything at the time was because you know, she was just, you know, kind of starting off here and she didn't want to ruffle any feathers. Now, she says that she doesn't hold any ill will against him for, you know, for what took place. Again, this is, you know, over 30 years ago now at this point. But she's telling this story in her new memoir because she wants to make sure that things like this do not happen again. Now, Tim Allen has responded to this allegation um, in a statement that he gave to Variety. And he said that this claim is completely false. He said it did not happen at all. He says, I did not do that. And he said that I would never do something like that to Pamela or anybody else for that matter. So conflicting stories here between the two. And look, if you're asking me, I don't really know. And there's no way, I mean, we don't, nobody else has come forward, you know, and, and mentioned that they witnessed this take place. You know, again, you can, you can look at the fact that she's got a memoir coming out. And so, you know, as a way to try and promote that, you know, is she, is she making it up? Could be, good, good possibility. You know, I put nothing past anybody these days, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so it, look, you know, I like Tim Allen, um, and uh, if he did this, then that's wrong. Then he should have never have done that. That's terrible. Um, but, you know, will we ever know the actual truth? Yeah, who, who's to say? Um, 
but look, I'll, I'll put more information on this for you guys down below here in the description. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think here? You know, do you, do you believe Pamela Anderson's claim or do you side with Tim Allen and do you believe that he didn't actually do this and she's just trying to use it as, you know, promotion for the new memoir? Let me know. But what I want to do right now, this is something I do on all my videos, is I want to end this video on hope. And this is a part of my ministry outreach here. You know, not only do I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines, keep you guys up to speed on everything that's going on in our crazy world right now. Um, but we do this all because we are trying to get people to Jesus Christ and let them know we are living in the last days. Christ is coming back soon. If you are someone that's watching this video right now and you have not yet accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I would like to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer that you can do in your own words, but I will give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do, this is right off the top, acknowledge you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then just jump back into your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, habits, patterns, behaviors, the things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and you ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God, you will have eternal life. And trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I will have more on this down below. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. You go to patreon.com slash conservative truth. Sign up for five bucks a month. Help us with our goal for the month of January, trying to get five new patrons. Remember, we got four so far. We're almost there. One more to go. Or you can click the super thanks down below and you guys can make a donation that way. Attach a comment to it. It makes it all colorful so it highlights it. It's all a great blessing. So thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.